What's up, guys? Thanks a lot for the visit. <laughs> that money has dropped. UAAG money has dropped. Though uh, Ken and uh, UAAG officials have not come to authenticate it, but the sources we are getting is <laughs> even the international community have already. In short, anyway, just listen to this V note. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. Uh, just listen. Today is Friday. Just listen to it, guys. Thanks, guys, for discussing our channel. Listen to the video. See you at the end of the video. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your friend, Master White. Thank God for today. I thank God for your resilience. Thank God for your tranquility. Thank God for your resourcefulness. The Groba Tioba Groba fans. Thank God you are still there. This bossment is circumstance. Don't be scared. We are moving on. Uh, for a couple of days or weeks now, I have not been able to come out and make a V-note. Uh, because of my good engagement with my friends, EFCC and DSS, some of my friends there, we've been trying to resolve some things that is not for public consumption. You know, as they always say that Master White is a journalist. Uh, it's not a matter for me to begin to declare who I am. But remember I always say, if I fail to say the truth, then my heart will not be at peace. This is the reason why I said if I were born in the northern side, I would have joined Muslims. Because it seems to me that Muslims say the truth more than Christians. Even when you put a knife in the throat of a Christian, a pastor, he will still lie. What am I saying all this? I took time to listen to the voice note of Body David. In fact, if I could listen to that voice note, what led me to that is the write-up of people criticizing Body David. I read many write-up when I opened the platform. Then that led me to listen to the V notes. And when somebody says eh, he does not care, people insulting him. I am not talking about insults. We are not going to insult you as a pastor. But we must put things straight. Days are gone when pastor says the truth. We must put things straight. It does not call for an insult. Yes. You said go to CBN. Something is happening there. Okay, thank you for that. But why not tell us the name of the grant that wants to disburse? I challenge you boldly, with no fear or doubt. Come out of the masses. As you have started your V-notes, telling the masses to calm down. Tell them the name of the organization that is disbursing. Stop eating on two mouths, speaking in two different terms. That they are two elephants fighting. My dear, which of the elephants is winning? Stop defending two elephants at a go. Where do you stand? What is the name of the organization that failed? What is the name of the organization that is disbursing? That is what the masses want to hear. Then they know you are a true pastor, true man of God. It's not all about praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As the Bible says, I'm a leader of billions of people. Uh, you see, uh, by the grace of God, I can lie to you. All these things are nonsense. Who cares? Tell us the truth. Is it UAAG that is disbursing? Or Tioba Global Foundation that is disbursing? Tell us the truth. That's what the masses want to hear. They know where you stand. You say because the two organizations, if anyone wants to give money that you will join and collect. Let me ask you. The first organization that wants to give money that you joined before, and that organization, the second organization that came and started fighting the first organization. Were you not there? When those first, the second organization called UAAG, we are mounted, they mounted 
despicable propaganda against the Oba Global Foundation. Were you not there? Did you defend them? Did you defend the Oba Global Foundation? Were you not there when all round of the Oba Global Foundation that this and this organization UAAG you are defending today that is false? Were you not there when you supported them? What stopped you coming out that time when we were hearing all kinds of blackmail as they collected the mandate? Did you come out and debunk that they did not collect the mandate? Buddy David, I'm asking you. They they bombarded the Oba Global Foundation. They blockaded them. They dispossessed people their money. They did all manner of atrocity, even massacre so many people. UAAG atrocity? Is this something to talk about? Were you not there? When did you come out and tell the masses this UAAG is false, is fake, original fake? Then we know you're a man of God. Stop beating around the bush. A whole brother Muslim came up and told us what he observed and told us that this organization is false, is fake. Osta Dawood said it. He's a Muslim brother. But you, a pastor, is still defending something that does not exist. If any organization is rising to this boss, you begin to preach for them. Once anything comes against that organization, you turn against the very organization. When will you say the truth, buddy David? You say that people will criticize you and insult. We are not insulting people. We are saying nothing but the truth. That is it. From the onset, if you did well, people will know you did well. Nigerians are not fools. We are not gullibles. The level of atrocities perpetrated by this Ken Wakama and his whole cohort is something that even you would have come out as a pastor, a leader of millions of people and tell them that this organization is false. Now you are calling everybody to be quiet. Why should the masses be quiet? Why should they be quiet when you hear they scam the masses? From the days of calling the international community, were you not among those that raised money for the international community? For the Apuga and UAG, Buddy David. From the days when you hear come to verification, did you come out and talk and say no verification? From the days when masses were spending, do you know a manner of things were you not in support? Of you age, why are you saying today? Uh, we are fighting Ken, you are fighting a uh, Tioba Global Foundation. If you are a leader, show that you're a leader, be honest, be honest for once, say the truth, let people know where you stand. Every man that tells you he does not have an enemy, everybody's his friend. That man is an idiot, even a mad person on the street has an enemy. So everyone that say I want to unite with everybody, everybody's my friend. UAAG is on my side. Ken Wakam is on my side. Tioba Global Foundation is on my side. Apostle Professor Tioflo Solotia Boy is on my side. That man is a fool. In fact, he's a deceiver. The man is so dangerous and pernicious. Pernicious. Be careful of such people, masses, I'm talking to you. In this grand community, we have seen false pastors. We have seen fake pastors. It is what brought the problem between me and my friend, um, Pastor Andrew. Is it not because of uh, that he came up and boldly declared that Tioba Global Foundation has money? And I was happy about it. Is it not what caused our problem? He's still my friend till tomorrow. We don't have any problem. Because he stood, when he discovered the truth, he came out and said it as it is in the public. That makes you a pastor. That makes you a brother. That makes people to trust you. Not when you are saying, everybody keep calm. Let there be quietness. When you know that thousands have been scammed. Millions of people have been scammed. People have lost their houses, their cars, their hard-earned savings in the hand of you, AAG. When did you come out? When did you come out and condemn the atrocities of this UAG? And you are telling people to calm down. 
when we say the truth everywhere begin to shake but my name is master white the fearless general you can't do us anything we have all the v notes of all that they said last year when they were campaigning for useless uah today nowhere to be found Tioba global foundation remain number one indomitable we stand firm the government know us the government is backing us we are not lying we are saying the truth your disbursement is settled you have your money but any pastor claiming that he is saying uh, don't fight UAG, don't fight the urban global foundation uh, don't make voice notes be calm don't listen to that pastor because the pastor has not told us the truth look at everybody in the platform of uaag they are voicing out everywhere saying this is false this is fake this is original fake you cannot even say the truth as a pastor and you are telling us to calm down it's just like the mother of all criminals jennifer Isaac. tomorrow you see her in the church preaching praise the lord but this is the same woman that told the masses once you pay money uaag with this boss once you pay this money this is the same wife of a pastor a shame to this our generation shame to woman womanhood i know send i know care you can't bribe me you can't nobody bribe me to talk if you come for connection we are deep rooted in it if you come for spiritual we are deep rooted in it we fear no man we fear only god and only god has the so guys you have heard now the money has been alleged dropped there's another punk, hanky panky. You know, these people have been lying to us from the beginning. Now it is clear that there's no more lie. Let's see what they will say. Today is Friday, guys. Today is Friday. Let's see what next week has in hold for us because nothing will be done today. Today is half day, 12 o'clock. Uh, everything finishes. Though this bossman does not need office hour, it's, it's, it's ultimated. It's done at home. It can be done anytime, even on Sundays. That's what they even told us. That immediately the money drops, uh, this was men follow suit, even 30 minutes. But now it has been alleged that the money has dropped. Everybody is saying it. We are not hearing from them. Anyway, guys, we'll keep you informed. We'll keep you updated. See, see you in a nice update, guys. Bye.